But what exactly is originality? Is it this? If beatbox is music like everyone says, then you don't judge music by a criteria. Okay, uh, yes and no. If it's just a musical piece, you shouldn't rate it. If it's in a battle, you have to rate it, of course. Sometimes it's even hard to see at first glance that someone is original in something. So at this point, I'm pretty much convinced that originality shouldn't be a topic in judging. Yo, what's up, my Kieran the Feature Beatbox. Welcome back to another video which is by Maddox, AKA. Today is a special video because we're going to discuss originality. What is it in beatboxing? What does it actually mean in general? Originality seems to be something that every beatboxer needs to have in order to be successful in the battle scene or even get a professional musician in order to make a living out of beatboxing. In many beatbox battles, such as the Grand Beatbox Battle or right now the BBU, originality is even a judging criteria. If you look up the meaning of originality in the dictionary, it says the quality of being special and interesting and not the same as anything or anyone else. Yeah, sounds pretty much like the understanding of originality in beatboxing, right? But what exactly is originality? Is it this? Or this? Or maybe something like that? Well, one thing that these three beatboxers have in common is that they all are professional in their field. And when I say professional is that they're making their living with it. But does the success they have make them original? And who of these three beatboxers is the most original? I give you exactly five seconds to think about the right answer. Done? All right, so what is the correct answer? Well, all three of them. What, Maddox, how dare you? I mean, Spencer X? Yeah, guys, even Spencer X is the original beatboxer for me. Let that sink in for a minute. But to understand why, we first need to ask, what exactly is originality? If I analyze a song, a routine or a performance of a beatboxer, I usually look at four different topics. Maybe some people of you are already familiar with this one. Number one is execution. In this topic, I basically look at cleanliness, so how clean are his or her beats or her sounds, how powerful they are, how dynamic they are, and also how good is the timing. So it's pretty much all about the basics. Basics first. Depending on how hard the beats are that the beatboxer is doing, of course, it can be easier or harder to execute. So that leads to topic number two, complexity. On this topic, I basically look at the difficulty level of the sounds, the patterns and the melody progressions of the beatboxer. A very complex thing, for example, can be a combo like this. Or a very hard to do bass line. I'm an alien. From the outer space, I am an alien. I'm here to take your place. Or even a melody progression like Gene sometimes does. Someone who's strong in all three subcategories, of course, would get a higher rank than someone who's just strong in one. Topic number three, where I'm looking at when I'm analyzing, is arrangement. This topic is a little bit more subjective because it's harder to rate the composition of a beatboxer. But basically in this topic I look at the structure, the unexpected moments and the transitions. You could also look at this as a storyline. A good movie that gets stuck in my head, for example, is one that is non-linear, having good plot twists while being well-rounded. Well, that's the movies I prefer and that's where it gets subjective. For some people a certain beatboxer can be really complex in doing his composition, for another one, it's just really messy. Most of the times it's not that subjective though to rate a good composition because if you look at people like Dan, then I would say it's pretty clear that his composition is nice. If you look at beatboxes that are more freestyling on stage, it gets harder though. There's one big factor though that influences the way we see the composition. And that's topic number four, performance. With a good performance, you can make sure to sell your composition nicely. So here I'm looking at the attitude of the beatboxer, the vibe he creates and his stage presence. Also, this topic is more subjective than the first two. If you compare, for example, the performances of Shogo at the GBB,
with the performances of Alex Sinio. All the crowd ends up. <laughs> Shogo isn't really someone who moves a lot on stage, while Alexin is really energetic and he really drags the crowd into his performance. But then if you see it in the context of the musical piece, then it makes sense. When Shogo was performing at GBB, it was mostly a really dark vibe, really melancholic, so it doesn't really make sense to jump around all the time. On the other hand, we have Alexinho, who's more about the battle style and the crazy drops. So his energetic style of performing really fits to him. All right, so that's the four topics I'm looking at. Performance, arrangement, complexity, and execution. Or shortly, pace. But Maddox, where's the originality? This is the most important thing in the battle. Well, is it really? Bruh. Okay, okay, originality is important, but how can you rate originality on a scale? You can look at how clean someone is compared to someone else. You can rate his timing, his structure, his stage presence, but can you tell how innovative he is? I don't really think so, or at least it's really, really subjective. Look at Codfish at GBB 2018. No one thought back then that he will be such an innovation to the scene. He's an old maid vibe and all. Got a fingers in the air. Get melody jam. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He mostly was doing cover songs. His beatboxing was really basic because he just used boots and cats and some throat bass, but the innovation he brought was the focus on being clean and punchy and delivering the message right on stage. We also could look at Collapse. He was winning GBB in 2021, but why is he not influencing as many people doing technical beats? <laughs> as Inertia, for example, right now does with this inward bass. <laughs> does this make Inertia more original? And if yes, why did he lose against Collapse? Well, to break it down for you, he didn't lose because he's the less original beatboxer, but because of the pace system. I'm not gonna get into the details because I already did a video about this. At the end, he unfolds his whole potential when it comes to technicality. It's all in the details. But in fact, originality wasn't the main factor here. Of course, you could argue Inertia wasn't innovating his round again because he kind of did inward bass again. But also you could say Collapse did again technical patterns. At the end, I think it was different factors. P-A-C-E. So wait! Does that mean that originality doesn't matter at battles? <gasps> well, yes and no. You can have more success by being more original, but ignoring the four categories I just listed to you won't help you. Without being strong in these, you're never gonna be successful, I think. And I'm saying it once again, I think originality should be not a separate topic while judging a beatbox battle. To be able to rate someone's originality, you should know all the beatboxes on this planet to be able to know if the sound is original, if the pattern is original. You need to know all the music that exists on this planet to know if his composition is original, his lyrics, his flow, his melodies. And that's simply impossible. But for me, at the same time, originality is kind of part of all the four categories I was listing for you. You can be really original in the way you perform, in the way you compose, the sounds and combos that you're using. Maybe not so much in execution because this is more about cleanliness. But even there, if you do some beats that sound garbage on purpose, but it fits with a composition that's maybe also original. So again, being original in these topics most likely make you standing out. But at the end, the beatboxer who's better in the four topics always will win the battle, even if he's less original. All right, so that's what I think about the originality. I also asked you guys on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and this is the result. Alem simply said, Reeves won. Perfect, case closed, goodbye. Nah, just kidding, let's keep going. That's was saying, if you know who's making the beat with your eyes closed, that beatboxer is original. If you can't recognize because he, she is new to the scene, if it's original, it will cause a tremendous sense of refresh. Absolutely makes sense, except on the point that some beatboxers are also original with the way they perform. A good example for me is Freddie Beats. He was really outstanding with his performances. Wow, I feel good. <laughs> So having your eyes closed 
wouldn't really help him. Let's move on to Benja. So Benja said, for him, originality is to tell a story with your or any sounds only the way you can tell it. Yeah, kind of, he's talking about mainly like composition, I would say, maybe also performance, like a mix of this. Ah, uh, the next one I like, it's by Heat beatbox from Canada. This topic is a bit hairy. Part of my issue with this criteria is that the judges would have to be very up to date with the latest greatest techniques people have come up with. I can't count the amount of times something was being judged as super original but it's a copy of another beatboxer because the judges weren't aware. That said, I don't think originality is limited to sounds or techniques. It's doing things in a fresh way. Look at Dan for example. His sounds are slightly unique to him but the way he uses those sounds is super fresh. Absolutely agree. If you give two drummers the same drum kit, they won't drum the same beats. The same can be expected of beatboxes. Make something fresh instead of using the latest cool thing that Collapse Inertia Adilo came up with. I find fills and melody progression to be the two things beatboxes copy or buy the most. Yeah, so right now I'm not really sure how important originality for him is. <laughs> But I guess the main message is that originality most of the times is wrongly judged. Next comment is by Azel. Originality is mainly defined by the following attributes. First one, unique sound design. Second one, unique composition. Third one, unique execution. And by unique, I mean something very much signature that nobody ever heard before unless from you only. That is what exactly the purest form of originality would mean in beatboxing. I guess with unique execution, he means like performance. Like the way you execute something, it's not only like how clean it is, but also, yeah, how you perform it. I guess that's how he means. So it's closer to my performance topic than the execution topic. But I, I pretty much agree with this one. And last but not least, David Leborn, aka Brez. I'm not even sure if it's Leborn. Is it? It's some French. Le Baron. Le Baron. Is it Le Baron? A criteria like many criteria that shouldn't even be used in judging battles. Yes! If beatbox is music like everyone says, then you don't judge music by a criteria. Okay, uh, yes and no. If it's just a musical piece, you shouldn't rate it. If it's in a battle, you have to rate it. Of course, because it's a battle, you need to compare it. Someone has to win. All right, let's sum it up. Originality is a really complex topic because you can be original in so many ways. Sometimes it's even hard to see at first glance that someone is original in something. So at this point, I'm pretty much convinced that originality shouldn't be a topic in judging. It's more or less important to be original in any category. So originality is more like a big headline instead of judging criteria. Let's come back to my three examples from the beginning. Reeps One, Codfish, and Spencer X. Are they all original? I would say yes, but everyone in a really different topic. Reeps One is really original in sound design and beat creations. <laughs> It was one of the first beatboxers, if not the first beatboxer, to do really authentic electronic music with his mouth. Of course, there's a lot of beatboxers who also did it maybe first, but he was the first one who really smashed it with it. Also, when he was performing beatboxing, he didn't like switch in between beats every five to six bars, but he created full songs with just his beatboxing, for example, like Move. <laughs> If you remember beatboxing back before 2010, it was more about like showing tricks, doing short skits, but no one really performed a full song on stage. Today, if you follow the battle scene, it's a totally different approach. And I think one of the big influencers was Reeves One. Let's go on with Codfish. He doesn't really have a particular original sound. He uses PF snares, kicks, throat bass. He also started to use vibration bass that is slightly more original than throat bass. <laughs> But at the end, his sounds are not the factor that are making him original. It's more of the way he's performing. His execution is flawless. The way he's performing is like dragging you into his performance. He's such a great stage presence and he also is an amazing singer. His melodies are maybe not as complex as Gene, for example, but he's really delivering the storyline and he can really deliver his emotions. You could do anything. 
except when. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Spencer X. Now, in what field is he the original guy? He might be not the biggest influence in the beatbox scene, but he's really influencing the mainstream. The way he's creating content, especially on TikTok, is what makes beatboxing really interesting. Lots and lots of challenges that are existing on TikTok are made by Spencer X. Or at least he made them popular. All right. All right. Beatbox challenge. Beatbox challenge. Putin cats and Putin cats. Putin cats and Putin cats. Bam, bam. You might not be his biggest fan, but in fact, he was influencing a lot of people to start beatboxing. If you are brave enough watching this video right now and you started because of Spencer X, please leave a comment so people see it's true. It's it is true. Lots of people started because of him. So yes, I say it again. Spencer X is original. So the lesson for today and for the whole beatbox scene. Please rethink the concept of using originality in judging. I don't think it should be part of it. And there's so many misconceptions all the time. So let's cut out this super subjective topic out of judging systems. All right, guys, that's the this video, quick and easy. If you enjoy my content, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And if you want to see more videos of me, I, for example, also do tutorials. Here's an inward based tutorial. I was watching Hard Cell, I was watching Dan. I was comparing it to people like Inertia, Vokoda, and I tried it myself. I can do it a little bit and I was trying to teach you guys. If you want to see it, 